hundred million. How many people are learning Chinese in the United States? <laughs> Maybe three percent of the population. What does that mean? If the Chinese is smart enough to add another language to be the global player, how many students are coming to the United States because they have already possessed the language of proficiency? How many U.S. students are able to study in China? Hardly. I'm in charge of international initiative. We have more students coming from China to Georgia State University, more than 600 Chinese students. When we do exchange programs, we are struggling because we cannot afford to send our students <coughs> proficient in Chinese to go to elite universities in China. That is policy, that is political, that is language planning. If all the business people in the United States are able to speak Chinese, understand Chinese, I bet the business will be far better and faster because of the understanding of the culture is through language. As such, we have more than 100 Confucius Institutes in the United States. Stanford, Michigan, Chicago now just closed, but we have more than 100. We are just beginning to show, to, to uh, try to use this as whatever you call, to connect with Americans. And we have more than 200 Confucius classrooms. Wesley uh, Chatter School is our partner. They are teaching Chinese to all kids. But how many are there in Georgia that implement Chinese as a foreign language? So if we do not think that far, we are going to lose our ground. And I just want to offer this perspective that economic development, traveling, business, language is important. I am so impressed by Andrew's analysis of politics in anti-corruption. That slowed down the economy drastically, but might be temporary. When I visited Macau, I noticed all those casinos are struggling. Because of anti-corruption movement, no big high rollers go there anymore. <laughs> so what can they do? When I go to Beijing or Shanghai, I'm no longer invited to big restaurants. <laughs> I'm going to the dining hall underground <laughs> because of the anti-corruption. But how long can it last? Do people still want to eat? Still want to drink a mouth pack? Yes, they do. That is consumer's psychology. And so I want to leave it right here because I don't want to take the floor, to open the floor for discussion, to look at economic situation, political stance, business practice, and a linguistic perspective, and try to really understand everything from multiple perspective and see if you do business in China, what does that mean? And now, I would say, if US election has different president that will influence the relationship and the economy in China as well. So we are watching. <laughs> All right, now it's open for discussion. Anyone can ask questions. I have one particular rule to say. Keep one question at a time. Keep the answers within two minutes because we want to give floor to all of us. And we have 20 minutes before we close. Thank you very much. Um, I returned from China on Friday. I traveled there a lot. And I see a great deal of political ferment. Um, a new leader has emerged who is uh, playing by the political rules of the Maoist period. He's being described as Xi Dada. His wife is Hong Mama. Uh, she is one of the most beautiful people to ever 